This exercise will demonstrate how to write to a GeoDatabase relationship class between two features while adding attachments to read JPEG and PDF file contents. GeoDatabase relationship classes are used to manage the relationships between features in one feature class and features in another. Relationships are not rows in a table or a feature class like other features but rather are implied through an intermediate table that contains both the primary and foreign key values of an origin and destination feature. In addition to the generic FME feature attributes, FME will automatically add format-specific attributes to all features when making use of a geodatabase. Where relationships will exist, the geodatabase will expect that the format-specific attributes GeoDB relationship or GeoDB attributed relationship will be defined. In cases where a feature was not read from a GeoDatabase, you must include either the GeoDB relationship or GeoDB attributed relationship attributes on the feature in order to successfully write to a relationship class. An origin and destination OID must also be specified. In addition, all related origin or destination features must have GeoDB feature has relationships and GeoDB OID attributes. In our exercise, we will define a relationship feature type as a geometry of GeoDB relationship because we are establishing a non-attributed relationship. Our source data will include firehalls, libraries, and community centers stored in the geography markup language format. We will also make use of a system path where photographs and PDF files that will be used as attachments are located. Use the attached workspace found on the corresponding FME knowledge base for this exercise. The beginning workspace has already been partially set up. The source and destination schema objects are ready to read from and write to. There are also transformers in place to map the reader and writer schema. The only things missing are the transformers required to set up the relationship. Adding them is the main task for this exercise. FME will use an attribute creator to define which features will participate in a relationship class. This transformer can be found in the Transformers to Use bookmark. Two instances of the attribute creator are needed because there are two streams of data, the points of interest and the attachments. Move and copy this transformer. Open the Properties dialog for one and you will see that it sets a format attribute called GeoDB Feature Has Relationships. This is all that is required to tell FME that these features participate in a relationship. For the points of interest, connect all three existing Attribute Manager transformers to the new Attribute Creator. For the paths to the attachment files, simply connect the Directory and File Path Name Reader to the second Attribute Creator. Each set of features also needs an ID number, assuming that one does not already exist. We can create one with a counter transformer. Again, we need one instance per set of features and there is already a predefined transformer in the Transformers to Use bookmark. Copy and move the counter transformer into the bookmark from the previous step. Inspect the counter parameters and you will find it is creating an attribute called GeoDB OID. Connect each instance of it after each of the attribute creator transformers. Open the parameters dialog for the attribute renamer POI type transformer. The parameters should read the FME feature type as the input attribute and the POI type as the output attribute. At this point, features are ready to write to the geo database, so we will create connections from the counter transformers to the existing attribute renamer transformer and the points of interest attach feature type. We now need to define the relationship between the two sets of features and we do this by creating origin and destination ID numbers. Again, we need one instance per set of features, and there are already two predefined transformers we can use, 
move the two attribute renamer transformers from the transformers to use bookmark into the center bookmark. Make a duplicate connection from each counter transformer to one of the attribute renamers. Check the parameters dialog for each attribute renamer. You will see that each is renaming the newly created ID to either an origin or destination ID. This is what FME will use to write the relationship class. Add a feature merger transformer. This is how the relationship will be built. Connect the origin attribute renamer to the requester port and the destination attribute renamer to the supplier. Open the parameters dialog for the feature merger. Set the requester attribute to be name and the supplier attribute to be path root name. The result of this is that data gets merged where the file name, or path root name, of the attachment matches the name of the point of interest feature, or name. When writing this to the relationship class, it will define the relationship between these features in the points of interest and points of interest attach tables. While still in the feature merger parameters dialog, change process duplicate suppliers to yes and enter docs as the list to create. This will take care of cases where there are multiple attachments for a particular point of interest. What we now need to do is explode this list into individual features so that there is a relationship record for each attachment, and this is done with a list exploder transformer. Insert a list exploder transformer after the feature merger and connect the merged port of the feature merger to the input of the list exploder. Open the List Exploder Parameters dialog and select Docs as the list to explode. Add an Attribute Creator Transformer after the List Exploder and connect it to the Elements port. This step is performed to tell FME that each feature that gets sent to the writer are actually non-geometry relationship features, and it prevents them from being flagged as point features. Open the parameters dialog of the attribute creator and use it to create a new attribute called GODB type. It should be given a value of GODB relationship. This will tell FME to write these to the GeoDatabase as relationship features. You can now connect the attribute creator to the points of interest attach rel writer feature type. At the moment, we are writing a relationship between features. But the destination features, the attachments, are currently just a reference to a file and not the file itself. We need to use these references to read the attachment file contents. A predefined section of Workspace will do this for us. Examine what these transformers are doing. The attribute copier does basic schema mapping, while the string concatenator defines the attribute for the file type being attached. Finally, the attribute file reader reads the content of the attachment using the file name obtained from the original reader and remove any existing connection to points of interest attach. Connect the contents of this bookmark into the main workspace. In the navigator window, we should check that the transaction type is set to edit session. Relationship classes must be written to in an edit session. Now let's run the workspace. When we inspect the points of interest features in ArcGIS, remember that they are in feature dataset called City. Query them with the HTML pop-up tool.